In this video, I'll show you how we can transform legal reviews using Microsoft 365 Copilot. We'll go through some really simple examples of making the right prompts to do legal redaction, right up to multi-stage complex workflows using Microsoft's Agent Flows Designer. Let's get right into it. So the main issue today is legal departments are still having to print off content and documents and then manually redact any sensitive information that might be in those. And that might be from personally identifiable information to legal issues to all sorts of kind of legal things. And it's a first draft that they have to go through and manually redact using a marker on paper. And then it has to go to a legal person and make sure that's ratified and all the information has been correctly um, redacted. And I, I thought people didn't do this anymore, but evidently they do. There are quite complex software packages out there as well that do do this. Obviously, they're very expensive. And I'm going to show you a way on how we can do this today within Microsoft 365 Copilot. Before I go in and show you how we're going to do this, there's three different solutions I'm going to show you today. One is chat based. We're going to give it a prompt. We're going to give it a document and it's going to give me a redacted copy of that content that then I can use as a manual review. The second one is using things like Copilot agents. So we're going to create an agent to make this process repeatable. We're going to give it instructions that it understands. It understands what type of information we're looking for. And the same principle, you know, we'll be able to review each document and then give me an extract of the redacted content. And then we're going to show you some uh, enterprise workflows. This is where you can have multi-stage review. So we can stipulate what the content is that I'm reviewing and have different workflows and processes in order to collect and redact and do a multi-stage review with other personnel within the business. So I'm over here in the immersive version of M365 Copilot, and we're going to write a really simple prompt. Something that says, please redact any PI information, commercially sensitive, legal communications from the document, and then provide a summary of what was removed with the full redacted text. The cool thing about Copilot is we can upload a copy of a file as well. So here's a file that I have on my desktop. And if you've got the paid or the free version of Copilot, uh, you can do this. It's storing that file up in your OneDrive for Business site securely. So then we can meet compliance, privacy, and security as well. And then we can hit send. So it's going to reason over that document for us and then replace any sensitive parts that we stipulated here uh, within brackets. So for example, if we scroll up, we can see things like uh, we can see supplier address has been removed. We can see buyer address has been removed. And that's far, far quicker than me manually printing it out, getting a pen, reading the document, and then uh, scanning it back in again. So that's super easy for us to do. Even if we're a junior reviewer, we can ask other questions of this document as well, like what other types of information should be redacted? Or has all the information been reviewed? Like do a second review for me. So here's the output that we can see. And it's just given me some ideas that financial information or health information should probably be removed as well. And then I could ask a follow-up question and say, well, can you find any of these types of information within the document? Because it might be a very large document, of course. Or you might have internal policies or procedures you need to follow. So we can upload those along with the content so we can review side by side. So it's really easy for us to use a prompt and then reason over content. The second stage, this middle part here, is guided redaction. So we can create an agent that makes this process repeatable for us. Let's jump into that. So I can create agents in the immersive view of Copilot uh, over on the right-hand side here. And you can see I've already got one called a legal redaction assistant. Just to show you how that is created, if I click on create new agent, and uh, we just drop down to my assistant here I've already created. These are the details, the descriptions, and the uh, general instructions of where I'm telling the agent about how it should act, what it should look for, what the process is, and what to expect, and what the outcomes are. So again, here I'm saying that uh, you need to ask for re reduction preferences. So this might be your preference, for example. And I'm going to upload a file or content that might be indifferent uh, formats so I want you to reason over that full document as well. What we can also do as well 
is if we scroll down, these starter prompts allow us to template the different prompts that we want to ask this particular agent. So making it super easy, if this is something that you do every day of every hour, then we can have some finite starter uh, prompts and then we can create new ones as well. Just making life a little bit more easier for you. And if I show you how this works, this is one that I've just uh, lit up here, which is we're asking a similar sort of prompt uh, again, this is a starter prompt, so you'd have to type it back in again. And we just give it the document that we want it to reason over. Again, similar sort of output, but now we can be a little bit more structured. And I want it to uh, pull out any sensitive information. It's actually giving me the document in its redacted format here as well. So I could just simply click on this and then see the redacted document. So let's click it. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the redacted document. Uh, here we can see that some of the elements have been taken out that I asked for. Like we still got addresses in here. We might want to go back and do another review. But you can see that these other elements I did ask for it to be redacted has now been written into this new version of the document and I can do my second review from here. This just allows us to be a little bit more flexible in the types of information we're looking for and only redact the elements that we need. And we don't have to unnecessarily change uh, the document uh, far past what his original document was. So again, I could be in Word, I could be in the immersive ver version of a Copilot and then have access to all of my different agents over on the right hand side here for that legal review or even redaction. So this is what the basic agent looks like. I've just put this on the screen so you could just pause the video and look through the, descri the description and the general instructions. But now what happens if we needed to go through a second review or we need a uh, more senior person to review the documents we're looking at? Now you're talking about kind of proper processes that need to be in place in order to do that reviewing, make sure that it's auditable, make sure that there's management for different types of documents that we're looking at, for example, mergers and acquisitions. And then we can use other technologies built into that workflow that allows us to do finite checking, things like advanced OCR capabilities, so optical character recognition, and then have all of that approvals process built into that. Now I'm going to show you a new capability that's in um, Copilot Studio. And this allows you to create that workflow that I just showed on the screen. And this is the prompt. Again, you can pause the video to read this over or even copy and paste this if you want to. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to create very complex workflows for that legal review and the redaction process as well. So this is our third and last scenario for this video. We're going to create some really complex enterprise workflows for this. And it's not that complex and I'll show you why. We're going to head over to Copilot Studio. This is another way that you can create quite complex agents. And we're going to hit this new button that says flows. Now, if you've used Power Platform or Power Automate before to do quite complex workflows, um, it can be quite time consuming. But what we can do is click on new agent flow. And this allows me to write in this text box at the top that process that I just had on the screen. And it's a business process. I'm telling a Copilot Studio exactly what I want the process to be in my business terms and not technical. So let's paste that business process in and hit the little go button. It's going to take a, a little moment to just read over those sets of instructions. And again, this might be a conversation with uh, your business about how that process works. And when it's created that, here I can see the magic of this new agent flows. So it's created me the trigger. It's going away and collecting the information from that SharePoint site for me. Uh, it's created a, a dataverse here as well to extract different information for me or for auditing. And then here we got some switches depending on the content that I'm reviewing. So we've got a HR legal and uh, mergers and acquisitions process. And you'll see that uh, it's done a very good job in articulating what those instructions were. And then if we're happy with that, we can hit keep and continue, or we can ask Copilot to reiterate on that uh, prompt. Next is going to just make sure that we've got access to all the elements that we need, and we can hit create. And here is our Power Automate flow. So we, the benefits of doing this is not only do we have a very complex workflow that we created from 
natural language, just speaking in English. And I think most of my time is uh, being an English teacher when I'm talking to customers around this, because sometimes you need to articulate the prompts in a slightly certain or different way sometimes to get the output that you needed. This probably took me maybe two goes uh, to get the prompt to actually create me this complex workflow. Wow, this is detailed. Uh, but just work at it. You're not going to get it right first time. You might have to iterate and work with Copilot, ask it questions, say, well, I'm not quite getting the output I expected. It was giving me this. What are your suggestions? So use Copilot in order to help you prompt a lot better as well. So here we go. We've got our process. And not only is this a process now that we can use as part of that redaction agent, but we can reuse this process for other agents as well, making this process entirely repeatable. So my suggestions are go away and have a look. Go and create some uh, really good prompts. Make sure you've got the process and you understand how to use and prompt Copilot. And then use agents like I've just shown you in order to create uh, really simple agents that can do the job for you on a repeatable process. And if you really want that multi-stage enterprise class workflows, then go ahead, jump into Copilot Studio and Designer and you know, your business process will be done for you, which is super awesome. It's going to save you a lot of money, a lot of time, and make sure that those processes are just repeatable, but make sure they are providing value, the output that you were expecting, and give even better job outputs than you ever have before. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.